Okay, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a this or that edition um, with uh, Matthew Stafford. Um, now, I think, I think he was, he's a good quarterback, I feel like. He just never got his, he never really got an opportunity to shine, I guess you could say. Because he was with the Lions, you know. He really tried, I feel like, but he just couldn't do anything when you don't have anybody to pass to, you know. Like, when you're the only good player on your team, there's only so much you can do, you know, like. But I feel like he's a good quarterback, but I think he, I think he's really going to be a step up from God. Um, I think he's going to help out the Rams a lot. Um since we have a lot of deep threat wide receivers, I think he's going to have a lot, but uh, let's get into the video. So, um, first off, we're going to do Matthew Stafford and Big Ben. Um, and honestly, the only, I have to go with Matthew Stafford here because Big Ben's way too old. He, he's old, guys. Like, he j just can't perform. Like, if you're older, you can still perform. Okay, keep playing. But the thing is with him, okay, he's older, and he just, I feel like he just keeps degressing every single year. He can't, um, he just keeps digressing, degressing every single year and getting worse and worse, you know? And I think he needs to retire pretty soon, like... It's okay if you're older, you know, but as long, okay, if you're older, you can stay in the league as long as you can actually still play the game well, um, but as for him, he can't, he just can't do it, you know, and I think the Steelers would have a decent team without him, I think if they got a different quarterback, I think the Steelers would have a decent team, but I gotta give it to Stafford, you know, I just think he's better the numbers might not say it, but I just think he's better. Um, Presley is overall, you know. Um, but um, next up, we're going to go with Matthew Stafford or Baker Mayfield. And this one was kind of a tough one, but I still have to go with Stafford on this one. I feel like the numbers may not go in Stafford's side, but I think now, you know, going with the offense, he's got some wide receivers that can catch the ball and, um, you know, run it down the field. So I think this year he's going to do way better than he has in the past. Um, but I think, I think the numbers probably say Baker's better, but I'm not totally a numbers guy. I mean, yes, I like the numbers, but, I mean, you also got to look at how good they actually are. Um, you could have somebody that's got great numbers, but they're really just trash because the team around them is great, but they're trash. Um, you know, and, you know, that can happen, you know, but I got to give it to Stafford on this one. I just think he's, uh, I think he's better, and, um, you know, but another one, uh, going with Matt, we're going, going to Stafford and Russell Wilson. Now, this is kind of the one that I feel like was the hardest one on my list to kind of debate on who's going to win. I feel like this was the hardest one to, uh, try and figure out, um, kind of as to which one's going, which one, you know, is really better. I feel like it's kind of a tight match, but it was kind of close, but I mean, I got to give this one to Russell Wilson. I mean, I do think I think they're pretty close, but what gives Wilson the what gives what gives Wilson the win is he's a mobile quarterback. He can run. Uh Stafford really can't, you know, Stafford's under pressure. He's got to throw it away. He doesn't have an option. Whereas Wilson, he's under pressure. He can try running with it. You know, Stafford could try running with it, but he's not going to do too good just like with Goff. You know, they're not made to run. They were made to throw the ball. 
Whereas Russell Wilson, he can do some of both. You know, his legs will work. You know, he can run. But, um, you know, he can also um, throw the ball. Or, yeah, he can also run. Um, so I think that was kind of the hard. That was the hardest one out of the ones I had on my list was Wilson and Stafford. Um, just because. But um, last one, we're going to go with. Stafford and Kirk Cousins, which I think is another kind of tight one. I feel like all the guys that were on this list were kind of tight. Like, it was kind of, it was close. Like, it was kind of close. It was close for all of them, I feel like, because they all are kind of similar setup as quarterbacks other than Wilson. Um, he was more mobile, but I feel like most of the other ones were kind of, um, Similar to Stafford, um, but this one I gotta give the W to Stafford again. Um, now I think I think he's just better overall than Cousins. Um, but Cousins has been putting up pretty good numbers with the Vikings over there. Um, you know, with not too many star players on this, their wide receivers, he's been putting up pretty good numbers. So I mean, you gotta give him some credit. But I think Stafford's overall just better. Um, so that's why I got to go with Stafford. But uh, uh, that's all for today's video, guys. And uh, see you guys next time.